<laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Terry and welcome to Dr. Terry TV. A question I'm often asked is how do I know the best treatment for my dark circles under my eyes? Now this depends on what caused the dark circles in the first place. So dark circles can be caused by many things, for example, genetics, excess pigmentation, aging, causing thin skin or volume loss. Depending on what the cause is, treatment will be different. Now before looking at any cosmetic treatments or aesthetic treatments for the eye, I want you to really maximize any reversible causes. Example, drinking at least three liters of water a day for at least three weeks. You want to eat organic food and up your vegetables and green juices. You want to go to the toilet regularly to remove any toxicity. Cut down on alcohol or caffeine to reduce any dehydration of the skin. This will help to reduce any reversible causes and also maximize the results when you do have treatment. Let's look at the treatment options. Now, if you've got excess pigmentation, um, the best treatment is really lasers or brightening agents. One way to check whether you've got pigmentation of your skin is basically stretching your skin. So let's say you've got darkness under your eyes and you want to stretch your skin. Now, if the darkness basically improves, that means you do not have a pigmentation problem. However, if it stays there, that means you do have a pigmentation problem. The next step is really looking at the volume restoration. So as we age, all illness, all through medication, we lose volume around the eye area, which can make it look sunken and hollow. To restore the volume, you can treat it with dermal fillers using hyaluronic acid, or the treatment that I love is eye regen using PRP and hyaluronic acid. I've done a video on this, so you can have a look at that. Now, to test whether you are suitable for volume restoration around the eye areas, to check whether how deep is your tear trough. So first thing, you can look down in front of the mirror, feel the bottom margin of your bone. So I'm just going to draw this. Okay. And then afterwards, lift up, and then look at where the darkness starts. So what that means is this area is overlying the bone area, which is good because we need a foundation where we can put the dermophilo or eye region product on. Because some patients genetically have a lower orbital margin and for those it is not suitable to do any of those treatments. And thirdly, if your skin is very thin, so one way to check is just pinch it and it's, if it's very thin then you might need kind of skin tightening treatments like radio frequency or ultrasound. Okay. Now eye rejuvenation is one of my favorite treatments because it makes such a huge difference when we can just refresh the eyes and reduce the tear troughs. Now if the skin is very loose, these treatments might have limitations and you might need more surgical options. But the best thing is really to consult with a practitioner to look at the best options for you. I hope you found this video useful. If you like it, please share it. And if you have any questions for me, please leave a comment in the section below. You can also find out more information by visiting my website, drterry.com. Until next time, stay beautiful and see you real soon at Dr. Terry TV.